morning. We are on to week three, and I want to remind you of a couple things I mentioned last week. Please, please, please review in content in your introductory materials, your MLA formatting page. Uh, I want you to get on top of that and develop a habit with that as your essays come up so quickly in this course. Even more so, um, per MLA, academic writing should be in third person. And some of you are ignoring this. Um, so go back to that first, second, third person page in content, introductory materials, really review that. Um, critical. As uh, mentioned in your introductory materials, and you had a, a question about this in your exploring courses content thing, assignment, every week on Monday morning, you go to content and there is a weekly commentary folder and in that folder there are pages that review the previous work uh, week's work and if you don't review these um, first of all you will not really understand the comments I make about your assignments because once you kind of look at these you, you get that clarity that oh I see what uh, Lauren did here and, and I see maybe I missed this um, I was a little off here um, it's kind of again like um, if we were in class a uh, follow-up lecture kind of that okay let's let's review um, let's clarify anything that might have been a little muddled so taking time to uh, review those weekly commentaries really is essential also uh, I might just give you a heads up, uh, some of this will show up on your final exam. So please, please, please uh, take time to look at those weekly commentaries. This week, purely literature, we're, we're hitting it kind of hard and fast. You have a very short story, a very short poem, and, and a little longer story. Um, be sure you understand what satire is before you read Harrison Bergeron very short story, very clever story, uh, makes quite a point. The poem Dystopia kind of defines what a dystopian world is, so titles are always important and that one is a dead giveaway. Um, and then your last story is a little bizarre, uh, but I think um, is quite timely in light of the fact that we are rushing maybe to find a vaccine um, for COVID. Um, Oh boy, is that a whole debatable issue. Uh, so you've got literature work to do. Again, I want to mention that your drop box, box work uh, focuses on literature and on analysis. Then into the discussion posts, these are separate assignments. The discussion post ties your story to the real world. And I'm kind of looking for you to make some connections there. Don't hesitate to call or text. Um, I am taking four days uh, at the end of this week, um, Thursday, uh, flying out, if Florida is still open, um, and returning on Tuesday. Don't hesitate to call or text. I may or may not be checking email. I will jump back in Tuesday evening and get all caught up. Uh, but you do have my uh, cell phone number on your syllabus. Many of you are calling and texting. I'm, I'm so glad. When you get stuck, please do so. Don't forget that you have free tutoring options available. If there is one thing that tends to bring down student grades, like it or not, um, it's grammar. Plain old grammar. And if you remember Comp 1, uh, you should have looked pretty thoroughly at rhetorical appeals, the idea of ethos being a credible writer, a logos being logical, pathos, that idea of uh, evoking passion in your readers. Uh, well, grammar is a key component of ethos. If a writer doesn't uh, appear to know his or her own language, why would the reader trust what they're saying? So, yeah, plain old run-ons, comma splices, um, syntax, all of that is essential. And if you're struggling with it, 
Send your assignments very quickly to Smart Thinking or Writer's Corner or one of the other options. Say, I need a little help with comma splices. I, I keep uh, running into trouble. Um, and I promise, particularly when you get your essays, that's going to factor in. It's an English course. Um, you want to uh, be a credible, trustworthy writer. Okay, so this week, get busy. I hope you enjoy the literature. Um, do not hesitate to call or text. And yes, I'm outside this morning. It's still beautiful. Uh, before it gets to 111, I'm going to sit out here a minute and great. Um, somebody else is enjoying the day as well. So uh, please, 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 one more time, don't wait until the last minute. If you get started early, at least review your assignments. Make yourself a schedule for the week so you kind of know where you're heading, when you can get uh, what done, what's going to work for you. Again, text or call if you get stuck and use the free tutors. You're paying for them, uh, so, so please take advantage. Um, let me know how that goes. Okay, get going. Bye.